I'm going for a two for today. Oh man, I'm gonna knock him out. Yeah, I gotta do something. We need some fresh videos. The only way to get fresh videos is to make some. So I'm doing another one. This is another game that I remember a lot, but I always remembered it sucking so bad. Even back then, I'll be honest, I didn't know the word when I was like six, and I don't know many six-year-olds that back in my day were using that word suck, but it was a game that I could say that sucked, but it was one of those games though, even when I was at that age, it was like, gotta beat it, gotta beat it, gotta beat it, and this is one of them. It's like, it was, and, and I wouldn't even say it sucked. It was just one of those games where you thought, I, I was the I sucked at the game. Not that the game sucked. I sucked. Boy, now that's positive thinking. But seriously, though, uh, that's just how I felt about the games back in those days. It's like, I didn't accuse the game of being bad. I accused myself of being bad at the game. Uh, so here's one. And I used to rent this all the time, so... Yeah, it was one of those days, just in case uh, you guys want a frame of reference, this was back in the days where, for I think a dollar, yeah, it had to be a dollar, we had a special uh, store here in town, for one dollar you could rent five games for the whole weekend. That That's like the most awesome deal I've ever heard of. One dollar, five games, do the math. I mean, it's like, it's not even a quarter of a game for three days. <laughs> If you were a kid back in those days, that was an awesome deal. It's like, for a dollar? Holy shnikes, my whole weekend. Uh, <laughs> and also, this was back in the days when we had the... When Daddy had the 56 Caddy. Yeah. So when we was going to get some games for rental, um, it was time to get in the old Cadillac. And this is this Cadillac had no seat belts, so yeah. <laughs> Most unsafe car in the 90s was the 56 Cadillac we rode in. But anyways, um, there we go. Ah, it's the Simpsons. He has Spartan versus the Space Nudes. Oh boy. Many people want to say it sucks, and, well, maybe it does, but I just think it's a bad port. The game actually is pr quite fun. I always thought it was, it was a unique idea. Purple objects. I mean, I was, what? Seven, I think, or eight at the time. This game was was one of those games that I played a whole lot. So it, yeah, it was like, oh crap. Okay, ah, oh, knock him out. Space Mutant Four. Uh, it's Space Mutants. Apparently, somebody did not go to grammar school. So anyways, there we go. Yeah, can I get underneath these things? There we go. Bam. I'm not even going to try and get that crusty head. Forget it. I don't care if I get the special super secret ending. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. Oh, don't have the coins yet. But anyways, this is one of those games I always thought was kind of weird. And then it, it never occurred to me until later in life. It was like, this must be one of those games that's European. Because there's so many things that make this game... One of those games that I swore at the time it didn't feel right to me. And this is an American child talking. It didn't feel right. And now I know better now that the game is actually British. I didn't know that at the time. It, But it, I did know one thing in my small little eight-year-old head. Or seven or six or however old I was when I started playing this game. I knew one thing. This was not in an American game. It, or any kind of game that was domestically produced. It just wasn't. So anyways, yeah. I, I'll admit. Oh, I used the wrench. Oh, okay. I've never... There we go. Yeah, anyway, so this is just one of those games that when you that when I played I always thought it was weird. But I I'll be honest, I I've seen people play the whole game through and I've never seen that. I could have never imagined that back in my wildest dreams. My short. Um So anyways, yeah, I never imagined it. But this was just one of those games that was so hard 
And like most people always, like the nerd always tries to say that, you know, back in the day if you rated this game or if you had this game and or you just got it, you'd be kind of angry because you could never get really far. Oh crap. Let's hit that one. And the controls are not that unresponsive apparently. <sighs> Piece of crap. Toys and crap. So anyways, yeah. It's just another one of those games that this is what I remember it being. It wasn't the best thing on earth. But it wasn't like it was terrible. It was just a game. Any kid could have told you that. It's not terrible, it's just it's just that one game, and that's just how it goes. Oh, oh, I never did that before. This is further than I've ever gotten the whole game. Oh well, screw it. Ah, yeah. Moggy. And you gotta understand, I was a big fan of The Simpsons, so this was always one of those games that I never understood for the life of me why. Come on. Okay, screw it. Famous last words. Screw it. Okay, into this game. But that's just how I remember the game being. It was one of those games I had rented many times and I always thought I could beat. Never did. I've never beaten that game and I would never force myself to sit there and play that longer than need be. In the story. Uh, thanks for watching.